What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another, basically, software review. Or should I say, a <laughs> app review. Now, iPad OS, iOS 13, this is it, this is the beta, this is the third version of it. Got it right here on my iPad Pro 11. Apple Pencil, did not get that huge of an upgrade, but we did actually get some changes to the note app so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to run down some of this change and hopefully this will be able to help some of you guys out so i'm going to run down a few of these changes that have taken place in this new version of ios so looking at the screen everything looks the same we're going to click down here and now you get this nice new palette down here. It's really clean, looks really good, and it actually changes if you put this in night mode or dark mode. What am I talking about? So you see this is the regular iPad setup. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put this in dark mode. So take that off automatic, and I'm gonna actually put it over in dark mode, and there we go. Palette gets dark, but you can, you can barely see it. The paper gets dark. The palette gets dark. This is white on black. See, that's how it's gonna look. Now, I'm gonna actually go back how it was, change that into light, and put it on automatic. We're gonna go back in and see the color changed with the background. So, let's dim this screen a little bit. Double tap on this pencil still works. Double tap it, and you can still set this up. It's still customizable. I have that set up already to go back to the previous or go back to the eraser. Let's go back here. Once you click on a color, change it to that color, click on the actual device, and you can change the width or the thickness. Now, this is not anything new. This is just, these are just little subtle changes as far as the palette down here. All of these are pretty much, pretty much standard. These were the same as on the last iPad. So this is gonna be basically a, a revamp of what, they basically put this palette in a new shell. It's the same palette, new look, new feel. Double tap still works the exact same. You see it's swapping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's not working right now, back and forth, back and forth. There we go, enough of that. Writing, still exactly the same though. Only thing I do not like about this is when you go to erase, I just wanted to erase a little bit of that, but it erased the whole thing. So Apple, let's figure out how to incorporate this. And this is a problem that we had on the last uh, operating system or the old operating system. I can't just erase what I wanna erase. I gotta basically erase the whole thing. So let's fix that. If we can get it to where we can erase certain portions, that would be awesome. You still get this wonderful color palette over here that you can choose from. Everything looks good over here. You can choose whatever color you want and then bring it to life right here. So as I said, you got pen, you got highlighter, you got pencil, eraser, select, select that. And see, it selected the whole thing. I drew a circle around this side and it selected that whole thing. So hopefully that will get fixed. I'm not sure. It's been a problem for a while. And Apple has not addressed it yet. So hopefully we will get that fixed and you will be able to enjoy this brand new color palette that Apple has provided with iPad OS. New color palette, iPad OS, works the same. Just put it in a different box. Hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.